What's up, everyone? This is all Destroyer 229, and welcome back to Let's Play Persona 4. Last time, we continued to develop and cultivate our social links as well as gain some stats. We hung out with Yukiko quite a bit, we hung out with Ai a little bit, we did some stuff with the fox. And we're doing pretty well in terms of stats. If we actually take a look at that, we are rank 3 in everything except expression, which is actually rank 4. So we're actually doing pretty well in terms of expression. Although we're not maxed out in anything yet, so we've still got some work to do in that department. In this episode... The night of the camping trip... Well, <laughs> night of the camping trip... The camping trip is going to begin rather soon. In fact, in a couple of days, actually. So, yay! Fun times! Oh well, I'm sure it won't be that bad. Well, at any rate, tonight we are once again going to be reading our book. We've been reading this book for a little while now, but I think tonight will be the night that we finish The Punk's Way. So once again, we read thoroughly and gain knowledge and expression. Hey, we finished! And then it's Thursday. Oh, morning, Yukiko. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think that sounds like a bad idea. By the way, you can't weasel yourself out of that. <laughs> You're gonna go on this no matter what. <laughs> Meanwhile, at Juness. What do you put in curry again? Carrots, potatoes, onions. Mushrooms, green peppers, and radishes? Are radishes the same as turnips? Uh, well, curry sounds fine, but... Curry's fine, right? It's practically our national food. Yeah, yeah, curry's okay. We were going back and forth between ramen and curry, but I thought ramen might not be enough for you guys. Curry's fine. Hmm, I wonder what kind of ingredients Yosuke likes. I, I get the feeling he's real picky. He's on another floor, isn't he? Do you want me to go ask? Ah, no need. Plus, he said he needed to get ready for something. Hmm... Chie, you use potato starch for curry, right? Huh? Um, of course you do. <laughs> Otherwise the sauce wouldn't thicken. Then we need potato starch and some flour, too. Flour? Oh, there are different kinds of flour. Oh, which should we get? Uh, all-purpose? Oh, whole wheat? Hmm. Whole wheat sounds healthy. Let's get that one. And here they are. Chili peppers. It's not curry if it isn't spicy. Oh, well, let, let's just get everything that seems right. Oh, well, how about some kimchi, too? And, and some ground pepper. There's two kinds, though. Black and white. Whoa, way to go, Yukiko. The Amagi family sure knows their stuff. Let's get both, just in case. Huh? 
Oh, yeah. We'll need some special ingredients, too, to spice things up. Hmm, I remember seeing something on TV about that. I, I, I think it was chocolate, coffee, yogurt. Oh, how about mini chocolate? I love that stuff. Who puts chocolate in curry? I don't like coffee that much, though. Oh, I can drink mocha, so let's get that. What does that have to do with anything? What about some seafood? That should make the sauce taste better. What? Uh, maybe ramen's not such a bad thing. Oh, boy. Oh, welcome home, big bro. Th th thank you, Nanako. Sorry, I'm, I'm a little shaken up. Oh boy, um, I think we might need to prepare some backup food. Anyway, what are we going to be doing this evening? Well, we actually don't have a book to read. So today, we are going to be hanging out with Dojima. Hey. We don't really have much else that we can do this evening. Well, I suppose we could just work at our desk for some money and stats, but... You know, we do have to work on these social links a little bit at a time. So tonight we are hanging out with Dojima. Uh. Hey. Dun 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 dun! I'm sorry, I have to do the bit because this is one of the best parts of the comic. Black? Don't try to sound tough, you sissy. Cream? Oh, coming right up, madam. Cream and sugar? What are you, Nanako? Daddy, I want it black! Surprise me? Ah! Uh, surprise me. Eh, let's maybe try that with a little more gusto. Huh, surprise me. <laughs> now, believe it or not, you could also respond with, with cream, and that would give you the same amount of points. The other two don't, which is weird, but whatever, that's how it is. You don't have to do that, Dojima. Huh. I understand. Well, I won't get in the way of your habit then. And no one ate dinner that night. I mean, this is probably the most iconic Part of Dojima's social link just for the comic alone. I'm sorry, I know I say that I don't want to reference it too much, but it's- If you know it exists, it's really hard not to sometimes. Alright then.
Dojima-san? Um... Sorry, Nanako. <sighs> well, that was a sour note to end things on. Well, it's time to head on over for the camp trip. Okay, I brought my flashlight, got a spare set of clothes, extra food, because God knows I'll need it. Trash was murder on my back. I can't believe someone threw away an entire bike. Damn it, litterers should have to deal with their own garbage. Wouldn't that be nice? Anyways, time for dinner. Man, I'm starving. Dude, the girls cook just for us. Not that I expect much out of Chie, but Yukiko's got the full tradition of the Amagi Inn behind her food. Uh. You know it's gonna be out of this world! Uh, um... Well... If you're so excited, I, I can give you my portion of it. Huh? Why so generous all of a sudden? It's okay, man, just enjoy! Oh, if only you knew. I can't wait to dig in! Taste this? Uh, only if you do it first. Oh man, here it comes! Uh, sorry for the wait. Um, we put a lot of love into it. Oh, really? That's kind of cliché, but still awesome! Okay then, chow time! Uh, hey! I think you guys just killed Yosuke. I mean, it's got squishy parts in it. It's so freaking nasty, I can't even swallow it. Well, it, it just didn't mix too well, but it does offer a wide variety of textures. <laughs> it's nauseating! Come on, it's not that bad. That's just your opinion. Wait, why are you looking at me? I'm telling you as a friend, don't. Do it. I wouldn't even joke about trying that slop. Um. Um. We could try to eat it, but. Yeah. <laughs> We're not that dumb. Well, maybe if I put it in my mouth. And maybe keep it away from my taste buds. I might be able to fake it. 
Yeah, I don't think that's gonna work. Bon appetit! Oh. We're sorry. Sorry. What are we gonna do? Our group's the only one without food. I mean, if it was even slightly edible, that'd be one thing. But I'm not taking another bite of this mystery food X. Uh... <gasps> Something smells good. Hmm? Hey, uh, Hanako. You wouldn't happen to have any extra curry left, huh? Come on, give us some! We're begging you! We're starving to death here! <sighs> no way! <laughs> I'm on a diet right now, so this is all that I made. It has to last me. That's for a diet? All that you made, it's like a bucket full. Oh, I wonder if there's any way we can get something delivered here. But our cell phones don't get service up here. I doubt the teachers would allow it either. And dinner time's almost over. All right, back to your tents. Men's tents are this way, and the girls' tents are that way. Come on, people, look alive! Youngsters like yourselves should hurry up and get to bed after they eat. It's now time for us teachers to have some boo. I mean, uh, after bed! Lights out! You guys are gonna pay for this. <laughs> Night. Come on, Yosuke, let's go. Glad I snuck in that little bit of a meal before then, but uh, still hungry. Damn it, I'm so hungry. And how the hell did you end up here? My teach threatened to hold me back a year if I didn't show. And the first year's ten is all quiet. It's like someone died. Well, if you were in there with him, I'm not surprised. Is it just you two in this tent? The other guys called in sick. Smart move. So it's okay if I hang out here? I mean, it's fine by me. You can stay here as long as you want, Kanji. Hey, you're a stand-up guy, senpai. Don't worry, I won't make any trouble for you. They won't catch me unless we raise a ruckus. Let's try to avoid that, please. Alright, alright, you can sleep over there. Dude, there's a huge rock under there. How am I supposed to sleep? It's gonna hurt like hell. Pipe down! Didn't you say you weren't gonna make any noise? Yo, Senpai, can't you go just a little further back? Nope. There's a slope just past here. I'd roll down the hill in my sleep. How did we end up with the crappiest tent? If you don't like it here, go back to the first year tent. Hey, wasn't your teacher some guy called King Moron? Yep. That guy stopped me outside earlier, and he pissed me off so bad I was about to lose it. He was going on and on about when I was in middle school, when he doesn't know shit about any of that. Not only that, he was bullshitting about how I'll be expelled immediately if I cause trouble. That ain't funny, man. 
Yeah, that guy set a speed record for jumping to conclusions. Check this out, right? I heard it from a guy in my class. He said that asshole was talking shit about the two girls who died. King Moron was talking about Ms. Yamano and Saki-senpai? Yasuke, that was during a lecture. It was like, it's no surprise that people who are unfaithful or run away from home meet a bad end. Okay, that part is new. I don't know, maybe he was exaggerating. Everyone seems to hate that son of a bitch Moraoka. Damn, I could just picture him saying that. He never shut up about me either when I moved here last year. Not that I remember anything he said. Even if it's only a little true, it still pisses me off. The dickhead's a damn teacher, for God's sake. Now, nah, don't waste your energy getting pissed at that clown. Uh, Yosuke? Yeah, you got a point. Wait a sec. What are you eating? Animal crackers? What the? Those are mine! Damn it! I was so pumped about finding the penguin today. Penguin? The secret animal cracker! You were eating them and you didn't know that? Are you serious? Well, you should have said something. You kind of just took it and started eating them, Yosuke! Oh well. Oh, this isn't gonna fill me up. Let's just go to sleep. That's all you gotta say for yourself after taking my snacks. Come on, Kanji. Kanji? Don't you have more space on your side? And I can't sleep over there, or my back's gonna break. Oh, okay. Uh, hey. Yeah? Why'd you come to this tent? I already told you. Jeez, wrong with you. This is as good a time as any, so I want you to be honest with us. Uh, okay. Are you really, you know? Yeah, okay. Am I really what? What I mean is, um, are we gonna be safe alone with you? Oh, for God's sake, Yosuke. What? What the hell is that supposed to mean? I already told you guys I'm not like that. Well, then why are you all hot and bothered about it? That's just more suspicious. Yosuke, oh, for God's sake. Hell no! We settled this already, damn it. Right now I'm. Well. How do I put it? Uh. Oh god, don't trail off like that. You're freaking me out! I'm trying to tell you that I have no problem being around girls now. Can you prove it? <laughs> prove it? Because if you can't, we're gonna be stuck here all night, half scared to death. Who's this we? <laughs> to hell with this. If that's what you really think of me, then I'm gonna go hit the girl's tent right now! Wait, what? Uh, wait, well that's a little extreme. You don't have to go that far. They'll expel you if they find you. Don't tell me you forgot. King Moron's got his eye on you. Yeah, like that stuff a man like me. The dude's seriously going for it. Hey man, you gotta stop him! Kanji, Yosuke's an idiot, but he's actually right in this particular instance. Please, for the love of God, don't do this. This is a really bad idea. Oh, crap. You think I'm gonna put up with this crap? I'll show you guys. 
To hell with King Moron! No one's stopping Kanji Tatsumi, damn it! Kanji! Uh, hey, wait! What? I declare myself not responsible for anything that happens. Yosuke, this is entirely your fault! Why we're the only three in here? I can't sleep. <sighs> I'm hungry too. I should have eaten a little more of that curry. You might have knocked us unconscious. Sheesh, we can't sleep. We can't walk around. I wonder what Teddy's doing right now. Being alone all day is pretty rough when you think about it. You know, a while ago, he... That does it! Yukiko, we're out of here! Where'd we go, though? I don't think climbing down the mountain is a good idea. Do you think she'd stop snoring if I covered her nose and mouth? No, 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 I can't take it anymore. Oh, who's there? Hey. Are you guys still up? What are you doing here? This is the guy's side! Let us in! Don't be ridiculous! If King Moron finds out, we'll all be expelled! Go back to your tent! We can't! Why not? Are there any rotten apples out and about? Any indecent students out there? Alright, hurry up and get in. Come on, before King Moron finds us. So why are you two here? Well, it's Kanji-kun. He's out cold. How? Uh, I don't know what happened. He just came in and then and then, then he fainted all of a sudden. That's all. Right, Yukiko? Huh? Uh, yeah. So there was no way we could sleep with him lying there. And, and you know, if, if we woke him up, he might have made a fuss. That's why we left him there. What? That makes no sense. He busted into your tent, then suddenly fainted. Yosuke, I think it's pretty obvious what happened. Listen up! Being insolent and being indecent are very different things! It's him! He's right outside! Hey, turn the light off! Got it! Hey, are you two in there? Answer me! We're here. We're here, Mr. Moroka. Huh? Ah, so you're in there. Is Hanamura already asleep? Yes, sir. Fast asleep, sir. Don't get cute, Hanamura. Shut up and go back to sleep. <laughs> Ugh. I think I had one too many. I'm so sleepy. <sighs> <sighs> Your 
There goes a couple years off my lifespan. No joke. We were nearly expelled. Hey, this is you guys' fault. But what else were we supposed to do? Anyways, we can't leave now. We'll sneak out before the others wake up tomorrow. Is that good enough for you? What are you so pissed off for? Hey, you better not try any funny stuff while we're asleep. Is that clear? Hey, we didn't say you could... Damn it. You owe us for this. Well, great. We didn't have dinner. Kanji ran out like a moron, and we were almost expelled from school. How could things possibly get any worse on this trip? Looks like we're the only ones here. What's wrong? Got a stomach ache? No, it's just... I thought I got pissed and ran out of the tent last night. It's so weird. Was it a dream? I woke up. I was in Yosuke's senpai's tent. I... I... It was a dream. It must have been a dream. All right, then. Let's get swimming. Are you seriously taking a swim? I'll pass. I'm still all stiff. What are you looking at us for? If you guys want to swim, go right ahead. You know, you two still owe us. Huh? Whoa, whoa, whoa. We are not going in there. I mean, we do owe you, but, uh, 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 oh yeah, we don't have swimsuits with us. Man of all the luck. Yeah, it really is unfortunate. Oh, I see how it is. We put up with your dinner, we save you from King Moron, and you won't even have some fun with us in the river. No, it's, it's really too bad. It'd be no problem if I just had a swimsuit. <laughs> Ta-da! I've got you covered. They're Juness brand originals from our brand new line of swimwear that just came in for the summer. I had a clerk friend of mine choose them for me. Pretty swanky, huh? Dude, that's just wrong. have those this whole time? Come on, let's all go swimming. What should we do, Yukiko? It'd be no problem if I just had a swimsuit. Uh... You know, we really were looking forward to dinner. Uh. I wonder what would have happened if we didn't help you guys last night. We get it already. Sheesh, never let things go. All right, that's more like it. How far off did those two go to get changed? Far enough so that way we wouldn't be tempted. Come on, let's get in. Whoa, man! Stop staring like that! Hey! Um... You look cute, Yukiko! Stop it. You can't actually get points, but it actually really doesn't matter. 
Man, this is going even better than I expected. Kind of makes up for having to eat that mystery food X last night. And come on, you guys got to admit I chose some good suits. Those girls might be childish on the inside, but I bet they're going to turn into some fine-looking women before too long. Don't you think so? Why are you asking me this? I mean, not quite sure I agree with that statement, but you guys crossed the line. Huh? Definitely. Ah! <gasps> it's freezing. You didn't have to push us in. Why did you push me in? I was just disagreeing with Yosuke. I didn't say the statement was wrong. Jesus. Who cares? You were going in the river anyway. They brought this on themselves. Sheesh. Aren't they the worst, Kanji-kun? Hey, you've been awful quiet. Are, are you feeling okay? Don't tell me the injuries from yesterday are still... Uh... What? was here. Good thing we noticed before we went in. Senpai. Don't say it. Never speak of this again. <sighs> Why do I have to jinx myself? Memorable, Nanako. Let, let's put it that way. Okay. Well, that could have gone a lot better. Well, whatever. I think now's about as good as time as I need to call it a day here. I need to get some sleep. So, next time on Let's Play, Persona 4. With the school trip behind us, we just continue to live out our day-to-day -day life. We're still waiting for the next time it rains before we can take a look at the Midnight Channel. But if we take a look at the TV... It's actually going to be starting to rain again pretty soon. So it might not be that much longer before we'll get a chance to look at the Midnight Channel. So until next time, everyone. Take care.